Hey, what's up? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can collect objects and have that do something later when you collect all the objects. So if you can see on the top of the screen, there's this number four, which it represents the four objects that are active in the scene. And when you collect one, it says number three, collect the other two, one. And when you collect the last one, it says that all objects are collected and something happens. And this can be of great use to you it can provide a lot of functionality in your game oh sorry about that it can provide a lot of functionality in your game it can be of use to you so that's why I'm gonna show you how you can get this effect it's pretty simple we have two scripts um, one goes on the event system this can be just a empty game object in your scene but you probably get this when you um, import the standard assets and the other, uh, that's the script on the event system, uh, the count object script, and the other one is on the, on these so-called objects that you collect. So, it's called objects to collect. I'm going to explain this script first, and then I'm going to explain the count objects one. So basically, in this script, we have this public static integer, which is uh, set to zero. Now, what this does is, um, this static thing, so basically, you know, as um, when you create a script, you, you create variables and for example, if you're using the script, uh, the same script on mul multiple objects, um, the integers, the values, the variables, whatever you use are um, considered to be only uh, of usage to that particular game object. Well, this static thing um, for in this case, um, it makes it so that um, as you can see, all of these um, let me just uh, select all of them. Uh, house. Oh, I'm gonna do it like this. So all of these little objects over here have the same script, and they all share the same variable. So it's not like uh, the objects variable for this one, for this one, for this one. They all share one. And in the next part on the void of wake function, objects plus plus. So what this does is it adds one to this uh, static integer for every object that has this script on it, which is really useful if, if you, I guess, need it. It's useful to know, so I hope you remember this because you might need it for future scripts and for future projects you make. The next thing we have is void on trigger enter, collider player. This just checks if the thing that collided is tagged player. If it is, objects get depleted, so instead of being 4, because we have 4 objects into the scene, 1 is going to get deleted, so game object got set active false. So the game object that you just collided with is going to get set to false, and the number that's on the top of the screen on the beginning of the video, how you saw, is going to be um, set to 3. Um, now, uh, this is just this is the script is for actually collecting the object, but we need one that handles how much objects there are, what happens when you collect all of the objects, um, the GUI thing, how it changes, and everything um, that uh, handles that is in the script which is called countobjects.cs. Both of these scripts are available on GitHub. The link is in the description as always, and you can check them out. So before anything, because we're messing around with the UI, we're going to have to say using UnityEngine.UI. So button. So here in this case, um, there are two things in this video that ha happen when you collect all of the objects. One, you saw at the beginning of the video, the little block gets deleted and you can proceed uh, deeper into the level. And the other thing, I'm going to show you how you can do it later, is you can load a new level when all of the objects are collected, which is pretty neat. So public game object, so this is the string, the public string next level, this is the level name that you want to put in, so you load to that level. The game object is the object to destroy, this is the object that gets destroyed when you pick up all of the objects, um, for example the block that we destroyed earlier and at the beginning of the video. The game object, um, object UI, which is the actual UI object that's responsible for changing the number the text number um, of the objects that are in the scene and when you collect all the objects it says all objects are collected over here so at the beginning we need to find the object UI so object UI is game object dot find it finds a, a game object called object num so when you create the UI I'll show you quickly how you can do that 
basically when you click game object uh, UI and create a text this little canvas thing is gonna appear when you highlight the text thing click F on your keyboard and click 2d and you can click F again if it didn't center so basically this is your UI object you have to um, click F2 to rename it and paste the, the exact same name that you stated over here so, so um, after that you can put it at the top of the screen like I've put mine over here basically you can just put it on the top of the screen over here you, you have these little like orange and blue lines that help you um, align it and uh, so it doesn't get screwed when you change around the aspect ratio as you can see uh, you just put the um, put the uh, anchor points to the top one but because I've already made this I'm just gonna delete it and for the later values you can see that I left the text blank and the font size is 26 so when I type something it looks like this um, color uh, white um, alignment middle and middle you can play around with that but the most important thing is you call it object num uh, the exact same as you call over here later in the update um, you say object UI dot get component dot text so basically um, because we already know what object this is we found it in the star function and we have it as a variable um, this doesn't have to be public sorry about that because it already gets found anyways so um, because we already have it stated over here and we found it we can manip manipulate, manipulate it in different uh, voids and different uh, uh, functions so in the update function we say object UI which we found over here is we get the text component of it which is this script not this but this script over here we get that component and we get its uh, text part so in the script we have this text thing first we get the text script and then we get the text box over here so we can manipulate it in the script as we can type over here after we get it we say objects to collect now we reference the script that we that I've explained earlier we reference this script and we take its objects integer so again when we take the objects integer let me just show you real quick um, let me zoom in so when we get the objects integer it gets um, the shared objects uh, variable of all of these um, of all of these objects the, that have the same script so we don't have to worry about what object it uh, what um, what object variable it takes because it takes the global one for all of these so we just take it and we say to string because the text thing it can uh, as you can see the string value this text will display display um, the text the ob the text box and the te and the text UI displays only string value so only characters uh, sentences whatever it doesn't ex uh, display numbers that are viewed via an, an integer because the objects variable is an integer and it cannot display integers but um, because um, we use integers for mathematical problems equations and we use strings to display the for example the results there is a built-in function which is called to string and it allows us to change the integer to switch it to a string and by switching it we can display it in the text box later we check if the objects to collect dot object is equal zero if it is we destroy object to destroy so we basically destroy um, this count objects thing uh, this uh, pardon we destroy the object to destroy which we set in the inspector let me show you so the event system it has the next level and the objects to destroy and the objects to destroy is this wall that you've seen me destroy at the, at the beginning of the video after that gets destroyed we uh, do the same thing that we've done over here except we just say all objects are collected so that's um, it for the scripts um, I've tried to explain everything really simply and really slowly in this video I hope um, if you guys enjoy this more um, this way of explaining things I'll do it like this instead because some of you have been complaining that I don't explain shit so instead of me not explaining shit I'm gonna be really slow and 
make it um, so even so everybody can understand even it might be a bit slow for you but I guess it's just personal preference and I hope you can comment whether it's better like this or the other way that I've been explaining um, so that's uh, basically you um, add the objects to collect script to the objects that you want to collect um, you make the UI thing over here I've showed you everything and you make an empty game object which is the event system you might already have this in your scene but I just put all of the like global um, uh, the uh, global I guess the tracking things or um, scripts uh, that aren't specified to a specific game object they can be anywhere in the scene I just put it over here like I put this one and um, after that um, if you don't I'll show you the different way now so if you don't want to destroy this wall because you can see it says next level over here if you don't want to have an object to destroy thing over here you can do this instead you can go to your count objects dot cs um, script sorry and this thing that's commented out you can just delete uh, these two um, I don't know what they're called and you can mm -hmm. comment these in so uh, basically the comment thing it um, it just comments out code so it doesn't um, it doesn't do it's basically its usage is leaving comments for other developers or for you to get reminded what things do for example over here update is called once per frame so that's the same thing you do over here so now instead of destroying something it's gonna load a new level called um, next level which is string over here um, now we don't need these semicolons as well now what we do is we um, to load the new level we have to have the new level that we want to load so let's go file new scene let's save the changes and here we can put the um, we can uh, let's just make something where we can stand real quick uh, let's get the first person controller let's get it on the scene and uh, let's save the scene put tutoring assets scenes and we can call it um, um, test so we can call it collect te collect test we can call it collect test let's save it go back into our scenes go back to the first scene oh not this one the tutor scene um, so now in the event system we just paste the collect test we paste the exact same name over here and we go to file build settings we don't need this and we add the new scene that we've created over here and now it's gonna work so um, let's test it out so collect all the objects and now we've switched to a um, new scene that we made so pretty simple you can add it doesn't have to be destroying objects loading new scenes it can be whatever you can mess around with it I hope you enjoyed this video I really tried to explain things much slower this time if you enjoy me explaining things much slower like in this video you can um, tell me that in the comments and I'll be sure to do that for the future videos if not if you want me to speed it up maybe because it's boring for you to listen to me explaining something you already know tell me that as well if you enjoyed the video if it helped you I hope you can leave a like and subscribe for future videos like these and um, I'll see you next time bye